Uh, okay, so mm -hmm. here I am with the Gallatin County News before me, and I'm looking at uh, the headline from Saturday where uh, the mayor says the festival was wonderful, gave me chills. And so we had a busy, busy little day during that Saturday, and it started with you two uh, kicking it off with Mrs. Claus for a breakfast. Yes. So we had a lot of people for that. Patricia Blackburn, and she was we're, we're Mrs. Giving, Claus. We're giving away Mrs. Claus's <gasps> name on the oh air. Oh, my gosh. It's okay. And um, <laughs> It's okay. She actually taught here years ago, so mm -hmm. she's familiar with the county. And um, she actually knew a lot of people that came in. That's was, cool. She was here from 9 to 11, and so she just continuously kept reading the book over and over again. And it was great. She really did, I thought, an excellent mm -hmm. job. And she was very, mm -hmm. very nice and, and, and portrayed Mrs. Claus great. So yes. I hope exciting. to have her back next year. And so then after that, we had the trains running, which was always cool. And mm -hmm. then at 2 o'clock, we had Rusty Bird playing, mm -hmm. um, which it was interesting. I was standing up at the desk, circulation reference desk, and someone turned to me and said, oh, that's not a CD. <laughs> no, no, it's live. <laughs> it's Go. Live. <laughs> and that was pretty cool. So that was cool that how, how great he sounded and people were enjoying that. But also at 2 o'clock was Barbie. Holiday, Holiday Barbie. Barbie. Apparently there's a picture that Emily is... I'm not happy with the picture of Holiday Barbie, but... Of us? Of our group photo? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I haven't found that group photo oh. yet. Or were you talking about the picture of Holiday Barbie that made the newspaper? But the newspaper picture is beautiful. That's adorable, yes. So anyway, so we had Holiday Barbie <laughs> here from 2 to 4, and kids enjoyed the Barbie. I enjoyed seeing Holiday Barbie. She was beautiful. She was very chatty. She was very good. Yes. We'll I think the, room. the best part was reading to the girls the little girls yeah. mm -hmm. we had some barbie books out um and she sat down and read to i think maybe three different kids yeah. or so but um just to see them looking at her and mm -hmm. actually <laughs> thinking that she really is yeah. barbie it was it was fun it was magical so i was gonna say that it was magical <laughs> i just said and then you at, know, and then at one o'clock wait a minute I, oh i'm sorry oh yes i was asking <laughs> her like maybe next time you know you guys might have a kin Currently, they did not have a kin. I don't even know where you'd start on something like that. Right, and so I just asked her, and she said, I'll work on it. And as I've the said, company, the I have said company. before, if you watch Life in the Dream House, you have a completely different view. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, maybe, maybe that's my daughter going through that, but I've seen them all, <laughs> yeah. and it's a great TV show. I don't even know if we have it here, So, as I gave you a hard time last week for not... Uh, it was all online streaming for free for the longest time on YouTube, so just, just exactly where you're watching this podcast, you could watch... Barbie Life in the Dream House. Oh. I can't hype it enough. It was decent. <laughs> yep. Okay, so moving on, let's talk about what just happened. What just happened here? Literacy Bell. The Literacy Bell. It was a blur in a, in a good way. The kids came in. 32 first graders. Um, I really enjoy the first graders, but yeah. nothing against the kindergartners, but the first yeah. graders, they're fun. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, <laughs> they're old. They're old kids. They're old souls. <laughs> yeah. And they're, they're a good little group, and they're fun. And they were so quiet. I was like... They were quiet. They it was were, like... It threw me off. I had all Did these snarky. Did tell him to be quiet? No. I had all these snarky <laughs> things to say, and I, I just like froze. I was like, ah, uh, and they just stared at me. Like, and then, and then they did the same thing to you, but you're, you're more of a professional than I am. You rolled with it. Well, it's just so, thank you. It's just, I mean, sometimes when I look at them and I'm congratulating them or talk to them, it's almost like you want to cry. Oh, it's very no. It's it, yeah, it is no. It is it's but, no because you're proud of them and you're right, like this is so cool. Like there's so many kids that um, their parents don't encourage them to read, mm -hmm. and so it's hard for mm -hmm. them to learn to read at school because they don't get encouragement. So they need someone to encourage them. Well, and also too, job. if you don't get fired up about people reading and you're a librarian, maybe you're not a very good librarian. So <laughs> yeah. so we're all like, <laughs> you're <at> your <laughs> You know, and the kids, and also and on top of it, they all came in. It was pajama day, which was very. Yes, I love. I kind of wish they'd given us a heads up because we could have been in pajamas. Oh yeah. Except I think I think we can all agree the three of us. There had been one staff member, Sean, who'd have taken it too far. So, <laughs> yeah. so let's just be happy that we didn't know it's pajama day. But anyway, so the second grader or second graders, first, first graders came in, and they were great, and they rang the bell, and they 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 go out there and they take care of business. They are, mm -hmm. and I can tell you right now, just from three of these I've done. It's always the little girl who's going to ring the bell the loudest. Oh, yeah? The boy comes out there, and they're all excited, and he's like, ah, let's do this. And it's like, ding. And then the little girl comes out, and it's like, bam. Yeah. So, I, and that was, it Hang happened today. Yeah, that happened today. 
So it's always it is always the small uh, small child who just rings it loudest, which was really cool. So okay, so now Emily, you're going to be at the high school when tomorrow after school. Tomorrow after <laughs> pick up and walker section. If anybody wants to pick out a book from the outreach van. So you can have some so Emily's just sitting on the, the holiday break, sitting in the parking sitting lot in, in the, the school, lot. <laughs> handing out things out of a van. Yeah, <laughs> that's aspirational. That's yes. great. So those will be good. books, and this is your focus. Obviously, is teen. Yes, teen literature. Yes. Y.A. Y.A. So I'll be there be... from probably like two fifteen to three fifteen, probably. Awesome. When everybody gets picked up, and you're there, you are the holiday vacation. So make Where sure. Where are you going to be parked at? Um, I think it's in the back by the gymnasium doors. I'm in, not for sure. In the back, far away. <laughs> screaming out of the camera. View. Scre- <laughs> scre- <laughs> screaming for children to come visit <laughs> yeah. the van. Nothing odd here. So that's how no. we get that out. But no, that's great work because that's a, it gives an opportunity for kids to get books because they, they will be away for two weeks. So it's an opportunity to read over the break, yeah. which is a great time to relax and read and just and read for fun. So um, that's really cool. Okay, so then now moving on because we got man, there's so much going on. Uh, let's talk about next week's programs. So we've got two things three times, if that makes sense. Exactly. Oh. Wrapping gifts. We have um, Amy Combs here to mm-hmm. wrap gifts on the twenty twentieth and twenty second. Okay. Mr. Fry knows this. Okay. I think he's bringing I, gifts. Are in. you bringing gifts? <laughs> I, I would have to purchase the gifts first, but but I think it's such a great Emily idea. Emily has her five under the desk ready to go. And she's like, five on the 20th, five on the 22nd. Yeah, yeah. And, five. and then Emily comes back with a fake mustache, and she's like, no, yeah. my name is Emil. Yeah. And so she gets five more. She's tricky like that. I like that. So um, so that's, yeah, that, and the, the times are posted. It was, um, was it four to six on the 20th? I'm going to get the dates wrong, or times wrong. Thir- I, the Thursday was four to six. Thursday is four to six, so the twenty second is four to six. <clears throat> one to two, I feel like the other yeah. one was. So anyway, oh. take a take a look because it's two hour. I think it's two hour. Window. Check okay. our calendar. Yeah, pretty please. We should have it in front of us. But those are the dates are correct. So twentieth and twenty second, there will be wrapping free wrapping at the library, and we also have space. You can bring for, your own wrapping paper if you have it. If you have a specific paper that you want her to use, you can bring your own. Okay. You can also drop your gifts off. You don't have to stay. You can drop them and pick them up later. And uh, or you can stay and enjoy a cup of coffee and get a book. Get wrap a book. your own presents, and you can wrap your own presents if you want. And someone said, "Gift me, wrapping party." Someone said, "Why would you do that?" I'm like, "Well, maybe you want a big table and you want some space, mm-hmm. and you can." And because you, you need the space, and, and you, maybe you don't want someone in your house who's prying. Right. Yeah, <laughs> and maybe you don't have paper. Them. You can yeah. use our paper. So it's yes. all there. So it's a really neat idea, and so, well, plus we want to see you. So come on in. And then last, just <laughs> us pondering: what, what is the best that you've ever seen a white elephant gift? See, now this is where it gets tricky, because I've been part of some white elephant gifts, but I think I broke the rules for it, because you, are you not supposed to buy a white elephant gift? You're just supposed to organically find something in your house? If you don't have one, this you is, could buy This something. is how my daughter would get wrapped yes. up and sent out. I was just like, she's oh just sitting God. around the house. She has a phone attached to her. Damn. Yeah. Well, I can tell you this. Okay, for a year, for probably maybe four or five years, there was a giant diamond ring. The, stu- the the glass on it was this big around, and it was just this big, huge diamond ring. It's obviously a gag gift. And it circulated for several years until finally, I guess maybe one of the board members that <laughs> their term was up, and so maybe they had it, and it didn't circulate anymore. But don't think that it might, it might come back. I was going to say, know. wouldn't that be wild if it yeah. reappeared? Yeah. No, I get never that. Know. Um, this diamond ring doesn't shine. I ended up anymore. one time with a completely perfect um i think it was a hoover oh my gosh brand it was a car yeah, brand name yes i think those are the only kit. times people was, buy those car vacuums is for white elephant gifts i think that's the only time they because they're like you plug them into your this little was cigarette like lighter. 1970 it was perfect it was in awesome condition i think i still have it in my basement somewhere you mean we in might see it on monday no <laughs> <coughs> no miss amy's got a good prize stirring mm. Have, but I'm confused about it too because, like Miss Amy said, and then everybody will fight over your really good present. But then That's how it works. See, I'm going to disguise my wrapping paper, and no one will know which one is my gift. When for I I'll know. For our family, <laughs> for our family white elephant, one year we put my face on a pair of socks. So I got the socks made Who with my face. Who wouldn't want that? Well, exactly. <laughs> Who doesn't want my face on their socks? Yeah. I mean, if I mean, if I gave that out at the library, we'd probably have people around the 
building twice. I mean, who would not be in here fighting for it? And so there's a picture of my mom with, she got it. So I don't know if she's ever wore the socks though, but. Of course she did. And then there was another year where I just handed out a picture of me. Cause I thought, you oh know what? God. What is a better gift than to see <laughs> this? Funny. 365, right? Like, you know, your own, yeah. I may have signed it. I don't know. I don't know if I, you know. I'm curious to see what Sean brings this year. Oh gosh. It's gonna be, <laughs> let's, let's not even speculate. It's gonna be, it'll be awesome. I could go, I could head back home and get a sugar beet. That'd be a great gift, you know, because sugar beet just a. Looks I don't know, Miss Amy's got me thinking that I need to go to the shed. The shed? The shed. An old boot. <laughs> anyway, so we'll, we'll have an update on this for, well, actually, we might get to get, we might all get together next week and chat. We could do that next week. We'll be here. All right, so thank you very much, Keeps guys. Them yeah, it keeps them off the streets. <laughs> That's, what we're doing. That's, that's, that's why a lot of us are here at the library. It just keeps us, it off, keeps the us off the streets. The recidivism. Recidivism? Anyway. All and right. if we don't talk to you again before Christmas, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Lend on that. <laughs> <laughs>